backdoor and pipe. There's a little bit of a luck factor. And on top of that, you gotta kinda know the lineup, you know? You gotta know where to sit. You don't wanna be too deep at backdoor or too deep at pipe. With, with a little bit of patience, you can be the guy in line for that wave. To see I'm making a funny face here as I'm taking off. I'm, the only thing I can assume there is I'm trying not to get water in my mouth while I'm breathing. But you can see I got the right hand lower on the rail and I got my left hand kind of flat on the deck. You can really pick apart things with this. So that, that arm's almost locked to my body like you were saying and then when I need to get that forward momentum I almost like pull myself. See, I almost grab the air and pull forward. You can see all these chandeliers falling down. Generally, I pump up and then I stabilize. When, I, when I'm hitting chandeliers, I never want to be turning. Your fins will cavitate. I want to be just on a line with my, with my direction set. I pull my front foot back and I know where I'm at, and then my back foot goes straight into being engaged on the fins and I'm turning. I actually got a little bit off balance here going into these turns, but I can see my body a little bit out of sync there, and my shoulders shouldn't be rotating that way. It should be open and kind of ready, open to the turn. So this wave, I got when it dropped in, I got a little lower than I wanted, so I had to really compress myself here. That lip almost hit me in the head. My back knee's down, pretty much touching the board. You can see my body's way off of the board. It's not above the plane of the board. Only because of that hands on the rail is allowing me to do that. You see the lip just kind of caught the back of my head as I'm coming out there, and I'm pretty much immersed. This wave was just a complete peak, so I just was trying to brush off as much speed as I could, and it was a pretty wide open barrel, so I knew I could just kind of stand straight up. I got a lot of weight into the back foot on that bottom turn when I was setting it up. Tube's taller, it's shorter, the speed's different. I don't have to get down the line. Yeah, I'm kind of going Donovan Frankenrider Soul Arch right there. <laughs> Welcome to 40 seconds. I'm alright, Todd, thanks.